Jeff, Arizona Hot Homestead. Today, let's look at some components to my solar system. And basically, I'm going to do up a series kind of each and then the overview of everything. So, today on this video, just the individual components, and then I'll show you wire it up and all that later. This is a Semlex Power 2200 inverter charger, pure sine wave. 24 volts and here's the way the main part works these connect up with your batteries obviously positive negative this is designed so that your charge controller actually goes right here instead of straight into your batteries it has a battery sensor uh, let's see here you have you have different things that you could get for this device. I don't know how well you can see some of this. There's some buttons on here about on off and and uh, and a remote on off um, 12 volt output so I can do something there. Um, I just got this so here's your ground. I just got this and then you've got between these three here this one I gotta check the instructions this one I think is where your generator goes in and uh, but yeah you know, these are my kind of the overview of my components when I go to wire them I'll go in more detail of each one of these little pieces but this is the inverter I'm going to be using here's your your manual. It's called an evolution series. Now, for my charge controller, I'm going to use a charge controller with MPPT functions. I don't know how well you can read some of this in this in the lighting here, but 97% high efficiency. Filtered series PWM charge mode, state of charge, 10 position battery type and charge voltage selector, all kinds of stuff. And here's what it looks like right here. So obviously it's pretty simple. Your battery stuff right here is your battery select so two volts four six eight who do we appreciate <laughs> I know that was lame like I said I just got these systems so I'll know more about the way that everything's gonna be wired in this one's designed so obviously the the panels go here this goes out to the battery and then this load I can either leave it like it is or else I could send it to uh, to some kind of dump load type of thing. So once the batteries are full, it automatically sends it here. And if there's nothing there, then it just goes out into space pretty much. It deletes it. If there's something there, then it will put the rest there. This PTS or BTS, I think is a battery temperature sensor. And that's what this guy here is. So what happens is I plug him in there, this here, all I do is I just put this on the battery, where my hand, I put this on the battery and it will sense the temperature on one of the batteries, I put it on the center of the grouping and that will tell me the temperature of my batteries. There's my little manual. So that says there. 12 slash 24, so I could run this 12 or 24 volts. I'm gonna do it at 24. So, that's my charge controller, my inverter. And for my inverter, I have this device here. This is, this is that remote control for that one plug that you saw on there. And basically what this is gonna allow me to do is, 
get the box open here. What this remote's gonna really allow me to do more than anything is to be able to view stuff inside. So I could bring this inside and I don't know how the glare is coming out on some of this. But again, I'll show you each one of these when they all get wired up and they're functioning. This is just an overview of all my parts. So that way I'll be able to read everything that's that's going on with my batteries. Then what I also did was I also picked up one of these guys here. A high precision a high precision watt meter and power analyzer. And basically all this is gonna do is put this before my charge controller and it's just going to tell me how much my batteries are my panels are putting into my charger and all that stuff so so when I was talking to the folks that I bought it from they uh, they said they said this is more of a feel-good thing you know you don't really need this because this is pretty much going to tell you that your battery is being charged it's that smart but this here will kind of tell you what your panels are drawing so for curiosity's sake, I went ahead and got this. And then there's a fuse. There's this fuse that is involved, and basically this guy right here is the fuse. 200 amp fuse. What else did I get? Oh, and I'll do this in a different video, but I got all my my panels I got six panels 260 watts each so what's that six times 260 you're looking at 1500 amps this guy here is a DC to DC step down or a converter see how how well that reads there so I handle up to 480 watts. It basically will take it from 24 volts down to 12. And the reason why I got this guy here is because my battery system is going to be 24 volts. And what I want to do is to have the capability of just hooking up my RV, my trailer, to this so that the 12 volts part of the trailer can be functioning. And I can take my inverter and turn it off if I want. So like if I'm gone for a few days during the summer, I don't need the inverter at all. I can just turn on my 12 volt bit and turn off my inverter and I'm good to go. So that's just kind of a high profile of my stuff. They're my batteries. I got Rolls Royce. No, they're Rolls Surrettes. They are the S605s. I'll do a separate video on those. And I'll do and on that separate video I'll also do the wiring and all that stuff. And and again, there's gonna be many videos on this, so you're gonna have to just stay tuned. This is just an overview of all the parts I got. This part of my battery box. Right there is my inverter. I'll have my the components sitting there in the box right there. The breaker box will be sitting right here so that's the skinny on that Jeff Arizona hot homestead just showing you the components of my solar system and in later videos I will put it all together you'll see it wired up you'll see it functioning so I guess as you can imagine there's gonna be a lot of videos coming all solar related but I guess this is a sneak peek of what's to come in the next month or two. Chef, Arizona Hot Homestead. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. And boy, you better stay tuned. You better subscribe because I got a lot of stuff coming up. Look at this. I got I to gotta talk more about each one of these, don't I? Holy cow, this is going to be fun setting all this up. See you on the next video.